former deputy assistant to the defense secretary Mattis, Amber Smith, on what happens now. Amber, what do you think? Well, I can't say I'm surprised by this. It just shows how much Iran is feeling squeezed right now. The maximum pressure campaign is working exactly as the administration had hoped. Their strategy is right on point in terms of really pushing Iran into a corner. Iran is feeling that they have no other options right now other than to sort of flex their military might that we've seen them done in the past. And usually administrations often feel like uh, they cave a little bit to Iran's demands. Uh, this administration is not falling for it. Uh, as we saw the president's uh, response to Iran shooting down the drone earlier uh, was very measured. Uh, he was restrained, but I think in the future, Iran needs to proceed with caution because they should not count President Trump's restraint as any form of weakness or any sort of unwillingness to strike back when necessary. Well, why would the president be surprised? I give him his due here. He tried to have a mild response to this, tried to give the Iranians the benefit of the doubt that, uh, you know, on, on, on who shot the missile down, or who shot the drone down, um, that it couldn't have come from Iran. We later find out, yes, indeed, it come from Iran. So he put himself on the line there, and they respond with, uh, you know, these petulant comments. The president responds with his own. Uh, I'm wondering now whether the president risks putting himself in a box here. What does he do? Well, there's still the United States still has many options. It's Iran whose finger or whose hands are getting tied right now. Um, in terms of options on um, their end. Their economy is being crippled. Uh, the people of Iran are suffering because of their government. Uh, and well, what money are his options, is Amber? If he's, not, if he's not going to use military force, let's say, I guess you could tighten the sanction screws all the more, really tighten it all the more, those who do business with Iran like you did yesterday. But they seem to go merrily along their way and they're you know, anti-American statements, particularly anti-President Trump statements. So if, if sanctions aren't changing that, the threat of more aren't changing that, what does the president do? Well, I think they I think they will change that. Tightening down these sanctions uh, will continue to put pressure on Iran. So not only do we have more room and options when it comes to sanctions, but we also have uh, the full might of the military. Uh, President Trump chose not to use that option necessarily. We did see a, a military cyber attack against uh, the equipment that shot down the drone. But there are still plenty of options on the table when it comes to what President Trump can do to strike back at Iran. But you need a, another Trump provocative act. Door. You need another provocative act to do that. If they shot down another drone or plane or something like that, that would correct. But but based on his not responding, maybe for perfectly valid reasons, he can't just you know respond to nasty tweets or comments from the leadership. Right? It would have no. to be another provocative act. No. And I think that would be a very big mistake on Iran's part. President Trump has opened the door. He wants to negotiate. He wants to talk to Iran. He wants a good deal, not a bad deal. That's why he ripped up the JCPOA. Uh, he wants to bring Iran to the negotiating t table. And if Iran was smart, if they want if the regime to survive, they should think long and hard about negotiating with President Trump uh, for their own survival. All right. We shall see. Amber, thank you very, very much.